from the world of Major League Baseball. This just came across my computer. I thought you were kidding when you said this. Go ahead. It has been announced that uh, MLB players have been warned by upper management not to use deer antler spray under their tongues. What? <laughs> Does that make sense to you guys? Apparently, <laughs> get this. <laughs> Scientists have found, this just came up like three minutes ago on ESPN.com. Scientists have found uh, the IGF-1, or an insulin-like growth factor in, uh, in deer antler spray. They found it in the velvet of immature deer antlers, and they made a spray out of it. And get this, baseball players are spraying it into their mouths because it's like steroids, and it cannot be detected in urine tests. So, uh, so believe it or not, folks, baseball players still finding ways to juice, except now it's coming in the form of deer antler spray <laughs> that they are shooting into their mouths. Rumor has it Sammy Sosa wants to come back in the league. He's ready. <laughs> He's ready. Oh, this, the, you, you read this between breaks. And I thought you're you're making this up. Like, what do you guys? Yeah, you guys are like, what are you even is, talking about? Well, I, 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 I believe that uh, our reactions were all kind of the same. Yeah, <laughs> just like, wait, what? What are they doing? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, look out. Is baseball so what dull that players have to continue to find ways to enhance their performance? Yeah. <laughs> That's your antler spray. Are you kidding me? That's what I was saying. Like, man, these guys are always going to find ways to cheat. Maybe they should just, I don't know, practice. Or train. No, no, come on. <laughs> Why does it always have to be some Eric, sort of... the common sense approach will never work with the Major League Baseball. Uh, you know that. Well, Gosh. why practice and train when you can just spray You're stuff in play. your mouth and, and <laughs> have the same effect, I guess. Unbelievable. Gold down a little deer antler spray. Oh, you can Lord. probably mix it with your uh, crystal or something. That's what I would do. It just Jeez. got too hard. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, <laughs> <laughs> so, so look out. Baseball players are cheating. That is a big shock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blown away. Wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's go back to NFL, though, and we will get back to baseball in a little bit. Um, that, just a few more moves, guys, and we we probably don't need to spend as much time as we do on the local stuff. But Tim Hightower goes to Washington, uh, you know, a former Arizona running back who kind of was in a timeshare with Beanie Wells somewhat. Goes to Washington, goes basically from one mediocre team to a, a terrible team. But I, I think he might compete for that number one job and probably win out. So uh, so Tim Hightower may be somebody to look at. Also, Kevin Boss goes to Oakland, and uh, that's about all I have. That's about all I have written down. Is there any any other Did big you, ones that I missed? No, but you mentioned Oakland. Oakland, and and it just goes to reason. Al Davis running the team is fifteen million dollars over the salary cap. <laughs> How in the world can Oakland be sixteen or fifteen million over with the roster they've got? Are they they're, they're still paying Jamarcus Russell? Oh. That's how. You they, know they gave that guy like sixty mil guaranteed or something. That everybody else is, you know, twenty million, fifteen million under. No, not Al Davis and Oakland. They're over, so they're gonna have to do some serious cutting. They'll end up with a roster of about Thirty people, and let me tell you, this is this is what's happened with Oakland, and uh, this the whole new CBA and everything is they're kind of saving Al Davis from himself because if you're if you are a bottom dwelling team like the Oakland Raiders are every season, that means every season you're getting a lottery pick, and up until this year, the lottery picks have been making ridiculous amounts of money. So that means every season the Raiders are signing some rookie to this monumental contract. That is, uh, you know, just mind blowing because they always have a top five pick. Darius Hayward Bay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Darius Hayward, uh, Hayward Bay, Darren McFadden, Jamarcus Russell. All these guys they had to sign to big, big contracts because they they drafted them early, and and so now now they're fifteen million over the cap, and uh, and it shouldn't happen anymore because they're not allowed to give their <laughs> entire salary cap room to to rookies. And Al Davis sits there with his dentures in and his members only jacket, and thinks it's still in the sixties, and. Pay him, pay whatever he wants. Yeah. We don't care. <laughs> I like Al Davis, man. I, not as an owner. But he seems like an all right I'm guy. Like, you know, Al Davis. You know, now that he's now that he's 110. I mean, he just he's got no business running a National Football League team. But for whatever reason, he still hangs in there and just brings down the franchise. Agreed. But can we? I think we can all agree that Oakland actually looked like it took a step forward last season and may do so yeah. again this season. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah. It, you know, other than the orbital bone fracture that Darren... Yeah, that's uh, bad that's, news. That's bad, yeah. But 
you're right. They they actually look like a a, a real team yeah. last year. But it's not like you could get worse. It's not like they could win negative games yeah, last what? year. You know what I mean? They didn't really have any room to drop. But uh, five two nine fourteen fifty, <laughs> call in please with your questions or comments. <laughs> Uh, yeah, other than that, though, uh, as far as the NFL goes, a lot of people have been arguing about Orton versus Tebow. I don't think we need to get you, into you that know, too much. I, I'm so tired of the Tebow haters. It's just getting old. I mean, the, the kid's got ability and some talent. Sure, he doesn't throw the way that the, you know, model yeah. like Brady or uh, uh, Manning. But, I mean, the kid got the job done last year in the games that he played. But there are people who just don't like that kid no matter what. <laughs> no, and they won't. 529 We got a caller. Caller on Sports 101. Go ahead. Hey, can I switch gears to college football? Absolutely. Yep. Um, I've just been noticing on the scroll on ESPN that, Notre Dame seems like they're getting a lot of like big time recruits. Do you guys have any information on that? It, it looks like they run like the top five every day, and it's like Oklahoma, Florida State, Auburn, Alabama, and then Notre Dame. Yeah, well, you know it's funny you bring that up because all Michigan also, for whatever reasons, having an outstanding recruiting year, 